up? Jeff here once more to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today I want to talk to you about a common mistake that people make in the gym where they overwork their larger deltoid muscles at the shoulder while they neglect their smaller rotator cuff muscles which help to stabilize your shoulder. So your deltoid muscle and your rotator cuff, it's a force couple, meaning they work together. Your rotator cuff, it stabilizes the top of your humerus or upper arm bone within your shoulder socket. The deltoid is going to lift your humerus up. So while it's doing that, your rotator cuff should stabilize this part of your arm within the shoulder socket while your deltoid lifts up your arm. So this should not come out of your shoulder socket, the top of your humerus, while you're raising your arm up. But say you're doing many lateral raises in the gym and you neglect the smaller stabilizing muscles of the rotator cuff. What can happen eventually is that you develop a muscular imbalance where the deltoid starts to overpower the stabilizing force of the rotator cuff. So it's not keeping your arm in the shoulder socket as much, it's starting to kind of come out. So as you come up like, up like this, this isn't keeping in the shoulder socket, so it's gonna start to come out a little bit. And the problem with that is as you raise your arm and the rotator cuff isn't doing its job as much, this is going to come up and jam into here. So look at where my fingers are, look at this space, it's called the subacromial space. So as I raise my arm, I could be pinching my fingers against the top of my shoulder blade. It's gonna come up like that and jam right into that space. So why is it important that that happens? Why is that significant that that space is being jammed? Well, you have three structures in your subacromial space. One is your subacromial bursa. A bursa is a fluid-filled sac that prevents friction between muscle and bone. Then you have your long head of the biceps tendon, and you have your supraspinatus tendon. The supraspinatus is one out of your four rotator cuff muscles. So if this keeps getting jammed, that subacromial space, those three structures are going to get pinched upon again and again, and they're going to become irritated. So when these structures get jammed enough, then they get irritated, then you're going to, going to develop something called shoulder impingement. And you definitely don't want shoulder impingement, it's going to limit your ability to work out, and it can eventually lead to a rotator cuff tear. Because stage one of shoulder impingement is you have pain in your shoulder with exercising, Stage two of shoulder impingement is you have pain when you're not exercising, you're just moving your shoulder and you start to get limitations in your movement. And stage three of shoulder impingement is you have very significant losses in your shoulder mobility and strength. And you can get a rotator cuff tear throughout this process. So basically what you wanna do is you want to work out those smaller stabilizer muscles. You don't want to neglect them and just keep doing those lateral raises in the gym and just focusing on your deltoids because that can potentially lead to big problems in the future. So I have a video, I, I made a video earlier on in my channel where I showed you how to work out your rotator cuff. I'll show you very simply right now. Pretend that there's a cable column right on the side here. This guy is standing, he's holding the cable column. It's pulling him in this direction his elbow's at his side, and he's just going out like that while pulling on the cable column. So it's like this, he's coming out like that with his elbow at his side. That's two rotator cuff muscles right there. Then, pretend that the cable column is here. He's standing, he's holding it, he's coming in with his elbow at his side. That's another rotator cuff muscle. That's three out of your four rotator cuff muscles right there. So that's a very easy exercise you can do in the gym at the end of your workout and that should help you prevent any shoulder problems in the future by keeping those smaller stabilizer muscles strong so your bigger, more powerful muscles don't create instability and destabilization in your shoulder. Alright guys, this has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. If you like this video, you know what to do. Thumb it up, comment, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>